is just, oh, this is not freaking working. Oh, I want it to, damn it. What the f Dude, ah, oh, God. All right, it's like 11.25 right now, and everybody's claiming it is vlog day. Everybody has their cameras out. Yeah. Alright, so my vlog is at 94% processing, but uh, it's scheduled, so it'll be out soon. Um, all the guys kind of just stopped. I think they're already done with their videos for today. So I'm going to go get some coffee. And then eventually today I've got to do laundry because we're leaving tomorrow and um, I also have to get interviews um, with pretty much everybody in the house. So today will be a busy day. Hi, can I have a uh, yeah, I just tall peppermint mocha? Judge me, I don't care. Alright, so it's finally time to do some interviews. I'm going to grab Seth while he's still here because uh, he's about to leave, I think. Knock down this interview and then... Um, write everybody else's questions after that. I'm just gonna kind of wing this one. All right, so Scum's interview was pretty good. Um, I think it'll it'll go well with the uh, the video. It's pretty gross outside. I can't show you guys because of privacy purposes, but just just know it's, it's pretty disgusting out there. Um, so I think I'm gonna work out inside, do like jumping jacks and, and other stuff like that. Uh, and then after I'm done with that, I'm gonna go do laundry over at the old house and, because our washer is broken here. It's just, and then I'm gonna pack up for tomorrow because we are leaving early in the morning. So it is 5.01 in the afternoon, just five o'clock, you know, when people are getting out of work, still, uh, you know, still time throughout the rest of the day to relax and have a good time, but boom. Literally, it is pitch black outside. I can't stand this time of the year. I do like the nighttime though, but I, I just, I, I wish I could take more advantage of the rest of the day. All right, so now to go to Target to get some laundry detergent, go to the old house to do laundry. Here's my laundry bag. That would have sucked if I would have forgot that. Um, and before we do any of that, I've got to eat something. Have I even eaten today? Are you doing your laundry? Yeah. How much time you got left? You what? Whenever it's done in the washer. Oh, okay. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of frustrated right now. Um, Cause when I got here, Bose was here. I didn't know he was doing his laundry uh, or I probably just would have waited until he got back and come over here like super late. But, uh, my, my clothes are in the, the washer right now. Um, they're done, but his clothes are still drying. And I've been here for like an hour and a half maybe, and I still have stuff to do when I get back uh, to you know pack and then also prep for, uh, for the content that I'm gonna do while I'm there. And it's just, it's just frustrating. And I feel, and I also like in the back of my mind, I feel like I haven't gotten enough substance for this vlog. It's just like, there's, there's always, I mean, I love it. I love that so much is going on in my mind and that, uh, you know, I'm, I always have stuff to do. I love that part of my life right now. But then also like when it makes, it makes little tiny obstacles like that much more, uh, like extreme to me, I guess you could say. So, uh, I didn't want to do this, but in order just to make sure I have enough substance, I t just tweeted out for you guys to ask me questions. So let's answer those. All right, so I'm in Big T's room right now because he is the only person with a chair, and it's a swivel chair. Oh my God, that thing swivel, ah, swiveled the shit out of that chair. All right, this guy, I'm not gonna say his name, but he says, uh, follow for a DM. I never do that. If you say it like that, I never do it. Nobody, nobody on YouTube will ever follow you back if you just say follow for a DM. 
Like, you got, like, at least tell us why. <laughs> uh, Kyle says, how many rides do you hitch? I actually have never hitched a ride. I, I don't think people, I don't think anyone does anymore. Uh, Nauman, Nauman, I, I don't know how to say your name. He says, uh, favorite rap artist, uh, hip hop artist currently is probably Chance the Rapper. Um, also, Lil Dicky. Also, Drake. This is by White Dick. If you could only play one game for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be, uh, it depends. If it was, if, if it was a super active GB letter and everybody was playing throughout the world, Modern Warfare 2 forever, probably Modern Warfare 2. But if it was just one game for the rest of my life, and like I could play it with my buddies, it would probably be Melee. UMG Dan says, two years ago, did you think you'd be in this situation? Hell no. One year ago, I thought there was a slim chance that I could, I could get here eventually, but not in a year. Deli Creator says, how long would it take you to count the number of windows in the new house? I'm gonna guess a week. Uh, there's definitely a lot of windows in the house. All right, so I don't know if it's phase pin G or phase ping. He says, uh, one cheeseburger or two small cheeseburgers? Like one big cheeseburger or two small cheeseburgers? I'm gonna go with two small cheeseburgers. Clumsy NB says, will Optic and FaZe ever have one big house? I highly doubt it. <laughs> Omar VSN says, Murder Mook or Loaded Lux? I'm gonna have to go Loaded Lux. React says, do you like Black Ops 3? What are your thoughts on the game and esports? I uh, love Black Ops 3, I think it's a great game. Um, and I think it's gonna be an insane year for esports. Like really positive things all around. Uh, Immortality US says, how much has joining Optic Gaming changed your life? Well, uh, a month and a half ago, I was working full-time at Walgreens and recording personal vlogs for about 900 to 1,000 views and then doing Intel uh, series for around about probably 4,000 views. And that's what I did every single day. And now, obviously, I have quit that job, moved out of my apartment, moved from North Carolina to Chicago. I'm now living in a pretty large house with seven other roommates. So yeah, my my life has changed a lot since, since joining Optic. Austin Sane says, when are you gonna do a montage of your gameplay? Uh, I, I've actually thought, everybody seems to like when I when I put uh, gameplay in there. Like nobody's said anything bad about it yet. So um, what I usually do is, is snipe and play in a competitive setting. So as soon as Arena like starts working, cause it just doesn't work right now, especially on Xbox for some reason, um, I'm going to just play that and release like arena montages. That's what, I, that's what I'm thinking about doing. I don't know if I'm gonna do it on this channel or if it will be time just to open up like a separate channel. Because if I, side note, if I do another separate channel, that's where I would put like gameplays. That's where I would put the full recording of my Q and A sessions with like different people that ha I've incorporated into the vlog. Because the Q and A session that I did with Flame Sword, like three um, vlogs ago, it actually goes on for like 17 minutes and I only put like seven minutes in the actual vlog. So I wanna eventually, you know, have a place where anybody who wants to watch it all can go do that. Not really promote it or anything, just, just have a place if you wanna go watch it for people to do that. So I've been contemplating that for like the last three days and I, I think I'm gonna do it. Xavier said, if MLG ever allowed five-man rosters, who would you like to see on OG? I would have to pick an Able. Loop XP says, who is your biggest inspiration in the COD esports scene? Not Call of Duty, but uh, this guy named Samox, or Travis, I believe his name is. He released a nine-part documentary series about Super Smash Brothers esports, like competitive Smash. And because of that documentary, it brought over literally like tens of thousands of new fans and kind of re-energized the entire scene and now Smash is thriving bigger than it ever has uh, and it's like a 14 year old game so uh, when I saw that I was like that is sweet the the documentary was insane and I was like I I can do that I know I can do that for Call of Duty so that's why we're here. Uh, Federal says who's the smelliest member in the Optic House? I don't have a sense of smell. Uh, TP is Bay says favorite Jolly Rancher flavor the blue one. Shoulders Hurtin says, would the Optic House ever adopt an animal? No. Chewy GG says, who has been grinding Black Ops 3 the most? Pomage, by far. Like, it's not even close. 
Blake Graham says, when are you and Maniac battling? You know, when, whenever he stops, stops ducking, because he's super scared at the moment. Donnie Darko, this is the perfect final question, says, um, what's the worst thing about the Optic House so far? The washer doesn't work. He's gone cold, I'm wondering why I got out of Everybody's screaming. All right, guys, that's gonna do it. Um, I've got a lot more to do tonight, but I don't want to have uh, this like weighing on me that, that I'm gonna have to record more for this vlog. So I'm just gonna end it here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Got a, a lot more uh, content to come this weekend with the tournament and the traveling and everything coming soon. So thank you for watching this. My name is Hitch, another day, another vlog, and we'll see you next time. My teeth gone cold, I'm wondering why I got out of